Hello dear people welcome back this question is for one mark and is from gate 2007 exam let us first read the statement then i'll be explaining it question says consider a tcp connection in a state where there are no outstanding acknowledgements the sender sends two segments back to back the sequence numbers of the first and second segments are 230 and 290 respectively the first segment was lost but the second segment was received correctly by the receiver. Let x be the amount of data carried in the first segment in bytes and y be the acknowledgement number sent by the receiver. The values of x and y in that order are. Okay, so they are saying sender is sending two segments back to back with sequence number 230 and 290. So sequence number of this entire segment is 230. Now you need to know that sequence number of a segment is equal to the sequence number of first byte present in that segment. So if I am saying that sequence number of this segment is 230, this means that first byte also has the same sequence number. Okay. So this is byte sequence numbered 230, then 231, 232, 233, so on. Okay. This last byte will also have some sequence number. After this, we have byte number 290. Okay. Similarly, this byte will have sequence number 290. So what is the sequence number of this one? Obviously, it will be 289. Okay. So how much data is present in the first segment? Let's calculate it. We start from 230, byte number 230, and we go till byte sequence numbered 289. So total number of bytes will be 289 minus 230. Okay. They will be from here to the last byte. Okay. But we also need to count this byte. That means plus 1. So this comes out to be 59 plus 1 that is 60. Okay. So value of x is equal to 60. Okay, if you are not able to understand why I have done plus one here, then have a look. Suppose these are the data bytes. This is byte number three and this will be byte number four, byte number five. Okay, three, four and five. How many total bytes are there? Five minus three plus one. That will be three. Okay, so we need to count this one also. That is the reason I am doing plus one. Anyways. Now let's move ahead and let us see what is the value of y. They are saying first segment is lost and receiver sends acknowledgement number y. Okay. Before this one, all the data is acknowledged. Okay. The question begins with the statement that currently we don't have any unacknowledged data and then sender sends these two segments. Now, here the receiver is expecting sequence number 230 okay that means the packet whose sequence number will be 230 is expected but that one is lost and the receiver directly gets sequence number 290 that means this segment okay receiver will accept it okay this one will be accepted but the receiver will also say i was expecting 230 but i haven't got 230. So acknowledgement number of this acknowledgement packet will be 230 only. Okay. So y is equal to 230. Now when the sender will get this acknowledgement, sender will see that I have already sent this packet, but receiver is saying I want sequence number 230. So sender will assume that this one that I've already sent was lost. So it will resend it. Okay. So value of x is 60 and value of y is 230. You need to know that acknowledgement number that is sent by the receiver always specifies the data that receiver is expecting. Okay. Now receiver wants this data. So it will say acknowledgement number is 230. Saying acknowledgement number is equal to 230 means before 230 it has received all the bytes but currently it needs this data okay suppose this is the receiver buffer and also suppose that before sending these two segments the sender has sent five segments already 
question is saying all of the data till now is acknowledged that means all of those five segments are received as well as acknowledged so one two three four five now what will be the acknowledgement number that is sent for this segment it will be the byte that receiver is expecting receiver is now expecting 230 so acknowledgement number will be 230 okay now have a look sender sends this one and this one this one is lost in the way but 290 is received so the data this one is lost but 290 is received after receiving 290 acknowledgement number that will be sent will be again 230 only because tcp allows out of order packets this one will be accepted but still the receiver will say i haven't got byte starting from 230 some n bytes starting from 230 so when this acknowledgement will be received the sender will just resend it see this one was lost then 290 was received again the sender has sent 230 only that means this one was resent suppose this is also received okay in second time it was received now on this acknowledgement packet what will be the acknowledgement number will it be 290 no because see 290 was already received this one was received in the first time only this is received in the second time so starting from 230 we have received some data now acknowledgement number depends upon how much data is present in this segment the segment with byte number 290 as its first byte see now whatever data the receiver is expecting depends upon what it has already received suppose in this segment there are only three bytes okay that is this segment looks like this now first byte is 290 this will be 291 this is 292 okay last byte is 292 now the receiver is expecting 293 so acknowledgement number for this one will be 293 because next segment will start from 293 and receiver is expecting this one okay thank you very much